Hey guys, Ivan here and in this video we're gonna talk about Ian Valier's reaction to Derek Lansford receiving a special invite. Ian's point of view is very interesting and I gotta say it's pretty convincing too. When I first heard about this news I was excited, I was happy that this happened as a fan of the sport. But from a perspective of a competitor, a Mr. Olympic competitor, a competitor that is a top 7 in the world who had to qualify to get to the Mr. Olympia stage, things might seem a little different. Let me show you what Ian had to say about this. Uh, so Derek Lunsford got the invite. Yeah, and, and Ian is furious. <laughs> Thought be I hate special invites, guys. Yeah. When I make commentary about it, as a competitor, people say, well, of course, you're blah, blah, blah. it's going to knock Ian down a spot. It's like, well, okay, but I, that also, I don't think that's a for sure. I want all the best guys in the lineup. So I'm absolutely not upset in that capacity. The only reason this one kind of irks me a little more than others is because there's still like seven shows to go. I thought this one of all of them would be less offensive to you. But it's the only one. There's no extenuating circumstances in my mind. With Cedric, there was circumstances. With uh, with Rami, there was circumstances. Derek was in shape all the way back in Pittsburgh. Like, he could have done any, he could have won Chicago. He could have won Tampa. He could have done any of these shows. He still has five or six, seven shows to go. What is the reason? The only reason is that he's gaining advantage. He knew, in my mind, it looks like, he knew he was going to get an invite. They weren't going to risk him not making a 212 weigh in and then potentially also not being already qualified for the open. So, you know, he used this opportunity to get into the men's open. I think that the Olympia should not have allowed that without him making a, a significant attempt to try and qualify on his own. So yeah, you heard it guys, as I said, it's a pretty convincing argument and I don't know if I can argue with this, I think it makes a lot of sense. The last time when we had a situation like this, it was in 2020, Big Remy was invited. Now, this was a weird year, you know, there were restrictions all over the world, it wasn't so easy for anybody to travel, to qualify, so there were circumstances that allowed for something like this, it was justified. Similar thing was with Cedric McMillan, who wasn't able to compete because he was serving his duty in military. Now, with Derek Lansford, as Ian says, there is no reason for him to not compete and qualify by winning a show, like everybody else. Right here you're watching his 2022 Pittsburgh Pro guest posing and Ian says he was in shape at this show and hell yeah he was. He was a little bit watery, he had a tiny tiny little layer of fat but he was in really good shape. In a couple of weeks of prepping for a show he would have been ready and most likely he would have won a pro show and qualified for the Mr. Olympia but it would have taken a toll on his body, it's definitely much easier if you need to peak only once a year, diet once a year, doing it two times is definitely a disadvantage, it would be shooting himself in the foot and if he doesn't have to do that, why not take advantage and actually ask for that special invite, so what Derek did makes a lot of sense, it definitely helped him a lot, but it's not really fair to other competitors. What about William Bonac? William Bonac was 6th at the Mr. Olympia and was 6th place at the Mr. Olympia better than 1st place in 212? It's arguable, but he had to do shows. He had to do two shows. He didn't qualify for the Arnold Classic, he had to do a Boston Pro and that's how he is going to the Mr. Olympia. He received no special treatment, he had to prep twice this year, he had to prep for the Arnold and Boston Pro and he's going to prep again for the Mr. Olympia and personally I have William Bonek ahead of Derek Lansford, based on what I saw so far on stage, yeah Derek grew and without restrictions, without trying to hold himself back in the offseason, he's definitely going to be better but how much better, is he going to be this good, look at William Bonek here, this was insanity, this Boston Pro and now without a guy, no, I have Bonek in my top 3 and if top 3 guy needs to compete in low level shows to qualify, why Derek Lansford receives special treatment? Is he really that good? Can he beat somebody like William Bonek? He was 212 pounds on the Mr. Olympia stage, how much bigger can he be? 10 pounds? 20 pounds? 20 pounds is a lot, it's, it's a lot, in one year to jump 20 pounds to be 230 from 212, that's, that's kind of unlikely, I think 10 pounds is more realistic, and yeah, you gotta consider Derek's shape, he's really blessed, he has really great structure, super tiny waist, big limbs, 
he could grow his legs a little bit more and his upper chest for sure could be more dense and more conditioned but he was also peeled last year so if he comes peeled again with 10 pounds of muscle more man that's going to be a really good package a really nasty package look at his back double bicep it reminds me a little bit of phil heat only wider wider in the shoulders not as thick unfortunately especially in the glutes and legs and also lower back but with those 10 pounds added or maybe even more or maybe another 10 pounds next year or another 10 pounds a year after that what's that gonna look like with honey being his coach this guy can go a long way and Mr. Olympia people want to see him in the open this guy can be can create a legacy I can I can definitely see that the potential that he has is tremendous there is another argument another reason for why Mr. Olympia people would want Derek's first open show to be Mr. Olympia and that is because of the excitement and excitement is a big factor fans want to see Derek compete against the open pros and if they have to wait until the Mr. Olympia to see that many of us will be super excited to finally see it on that stage so of course show promoting wise business wise it makes a lot of sense for Mr. Olympia to accept Derek's request for the invite of course they did that it makes a lot of sense for them but still it is not fair towards the other competitors there is another argument that you could make why Derek was invited it's because he is the 212 Mr. Olympia champion he is the champion on Mr. Olympia but hey what about Sean Clarida he won a Mr. Olympia too and he had to qualify for the Mr. Olympia open by winning an open show he did it and Derek Lansford doesn't need to is that fair of course it's not would they even accept Sean's request if he wanted to get a special invite it's arguable I don't know if they would I don't think he's as popular as Derek I don't think he has that much traction so maybe they would even decline Sean Clarida however they accepted Derek Lansford Sean Clarida didn't even try he did a show he qualified but I don't know if he even wanted to do the Open Mr. Olympia he says that he is unsure about this maybe he just wanted to do a show open show just to show how good he is and then go back to 212 like Kamal Gardner did maybe you were waiting for me to make this argument maybe you thought I would say why Kamal had to do an open show but no before Kamal did Tampa Pro he said he wants to do the Tampa and Texas and he wants to go back to 212 he never intended to qualify and to do the open Mr. Olympia he always wanted to go back to 212 however he did not win an open show he is not qualified but if he wanted to do the open now after failing to win an open show and if he wanted to get a special invite I mean he is the Mr. Olympia champion would they give it to him after failing to qualify at those two shows I don't think they would I don't think so and would Derek win a show we don't know that maybe I think so yeah but we don't know that so why does Derek deserve a special invite more than these guys like Kamal like Sean like Bonek like Ian Valier simply because his publicity is super high and because it makes sense for the Mr. Olympia money wise it's going to create a lot of excitement and it's gonna help Mr. Olympia it's going to make Mr. Olympia show bigger and better and of course they did it but Ian's point is absolutely valid it is not fair toward other competitors whatever you guys think though tell me down below in the comment section if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up guys and if you want to see more bodybuilding videos like this subscribe to my channel guys thank you so much for watching all the best and bye bye